Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have this unboxing from Lamb's Leather Goods. It's really special for me because this one is made from uh, Heidi. Heidi has a has a YouTube channel, so I'll link it down below. She, I believe, she made this completely hand stitch the whole bag. So I'm really looking forward to to see how this turned out. She started this new company not long ago, I believe, and she has been handmade all her bags. So it's come in a limited quantity. She always have good taste in the bag she purchased, so I believe in her and I like the design she put out. So. Let's take the back out. It has these little cute stickers saying thank you for supporting small business. Yes, I do believe in supporting small business. I think we really want to help small business grow and we just have to go for it and support things things they create and things they are selling I believe she called this I think it's Bennett Market Bag I have to look it up again I can smell a very strong leather smell and look like it, it comes with a tassel. I don't remember seeing that in the video. I guess it's something extra. I'm gonna take out the stuffing. She stuffed the bag really well, so the bag came in perfect shape that you don't see any weird creasing at the bottom she had this leather panel that go across at the bottom to to give the back more structure and less floppy at the bottom it has this kind of traditional fold structure let's see from the inside and from the inside, you don't see a seam at the bottom because this, this is a whole piece of leather. This bag is made from a whole piece of leather. So you don't really see a seam in, at the bottom. I'm glad that Heidi decided to design the bag with this hem top because this is kind of one of the, one of the features I like about Go Forth Goods and it just make it just make the back look more refined and so this bag because it is it was designed kind of like a bucket bag so or a shoulder bag so it didn't come with a cross body strap but since this is removable i could easily get another get another strap to hook on it because this d-ring is definitely big enough and if, if you just want to keep this inside, you can hide away the D-ring too, which is really nice. And then I like that she she made this, this kind of a lobster club's closure. The hardware feel like really good quality. I have been buying a lot of bags, so I could tell this, this hardware is it's good quality hardware. The bag itself is pretty lightweight, not too heavy. I know I I love a good leather bag that with thick leather. This one is the thickness is I would say medium thickness. Definitely substantial and some leather bag has really thick leather, but 
sometimes it could get really heavy. And I like this, I like this bag. The, the weight feels just about right. And the size is kind of, I would say, on the medium, medium to medium to large, so it could definitely fit a lot of stuff. Inside the bag, she created this slip pocket with the hem top as well. And that's their logo patch. I like the color of this leather. It's kind of like a, like a nutmeg color with beautiful leather green and I believe she mentioned this bag has an amazing pull up so see if I can show you so see if I if I push it inside the bag you could see the color change the undertone of this leather show up so while using it you will start to see more variation of color here and there depending on what you put in so it's it's kind of really cool i don't usually i i don't usually have a lot of leather bag that's this that's this pull up leather so i think this is really cool and i like to mention again she hand stitched this whole bag i believe it's a lot of work to to do the whole bag just hand stitch with your hands it's just amazing that she put on put in so much thought and so, so much hard work in creating this bag and this is just the beginning of lamb's leather good and i believe she will do well if she decided to expand a new business adventure so i really like this tote and I'll definitely use it. It's great for my everyday lunch outing. So I'll definitely use this bag. I'm excited to use this bag and I'd like to thank thanks Heidi for allowing me to, to buy this bag and I feel very fortunate and thankful and YouTube has been an amazing place for bag lovers. I just hope that we can all support each other and grow together. Thanks for stopping by and go check out her channel. Bye!